Welcome, I am Yusuf. I will be presenting our paper, It's Okay to Not Be Okay, Overcoming Emotional Biases in Effective Captioning by Contrastive Data Collection. In this work, we tackle the problem of effective captioning, a task where we develop models to provide captions for images that explain one of its emotional aspects. For example, we can see that the dense colorful dots evoke emotions of disgust because it makes an annotator feel sick. On the other hand, another annotator sees them as stars and thus feels ow. Compare this to the COCO dataset, where captions state factual information in an image. You can see that the different captions here describe the balloons, people, and scenery, but none describe the emotional impact of the unsettling balloons. Clearly, effective captioning is more subjective, and captions goes beyond facts in an image, stating metaphors and similes. This task can help develop more human-compatible AI that is more aware of our emotional beings. In order to create competent models, Datasets which have a good representation of emotional experiences are necessary. The Artemis dataset collected emotional responses to artwork from the WikiArt dataset. Every painting has an emotion label as well as a caption to explain why this painting evokes such an emotion. Artemis was a significant step in that direction. However, it had its fair share of weaknesses. Firstly, Artemis has a bias towards positive emotions, where most paintings are annotated with positively limiting the emotional experiences represented in the dataset. Secondly, many captions are generic. For example, in this painting, you can see two captions. One of them is more specific than the other, mentioning the sandy beaches and the sailboats. We aim to overcome these weaknesses by proposing a contrastive data collection approach and use it to create a complementary dataset where we collect contrasting emotions for visually similar paintings. Our new dataset, Artemis 2, has a more balanced distribution of emotions. Moreover, our contrastive approach encourages the annotators to enrich the dataset with new emotional experiences. This leads to a significant gain when training captioning models on Artemis 2, where we observe an improvement of 20% on the CIDR score. Also, 73% of human evaluators prefer captions from models uh, from Artemis 2 models. Our new dataset have better representation of emotional experiences. These examples show that for visually similar paintings, we now have diverse emotions. Looking closely to this example, our collection process encourages the annotator to pay more attention and extract visual clues for opposite emotions, such as the green color being attributed to mold. You can see that negative emotional experiences, aka not being okay, is beneficial for the dataset and its ability to represent subtle emotional differences. Hence the name of our paper, it's okay to not be okay. To collect Artemis 2, we use the Amazon Mechanical Turk platform. Our interface shows to a worker a query painting with dominantly positive or negative emotions, along with 24 visually similar paintings. We then ask the annotator to select one of the 24 paintings that evoke emotions opposite to the given list. To avoid forced annotation, we provide the worker with a no image option. Finally, we ask the annotator to select a fine-grained emotion and explain in text why he felt like that. We collected annotations for around 53,000 paintings, amounting to a total of 260,000 captions. Approximately 3% of the data had the no image option. And you can see from here, most of them are positive in paintings with bright colors and bright, beautiful styles. We combine our complementary data set with Artemis to create the improved revised version of the data set, Artemis 2.0. We use the task of effective image captioning as a practical application to show the advantages of using Artemis 2. To this end, we train two show attend and tell models, one trained on Artemis 2, while the other is trained on the original data set. For testing, we use a subset of the original data set called Artemis C40, which has 40 captions per image. Thus, it has a better coverage of emotional experiences and it has no new collected samples. So it guarantees fair comparison. We report the scores grouped by grounding emotion. You can see how the gains on the negative emotional experiences and the underrepresented positive emotions, such as excitement, are significantly contributing to the 20% improvement. Here you can find some generations from the show attendant model trained on Artemis 2. You can see on this example on the right that the model describes the angel as dancing when the grounding emotion is excitement. However, when the context is fear, it compares it to a demon. This example highlights the model's ability to understand the emotional context and generate captions accordingly. In this work, we uncovered a bias in effective captioning datasets. We then contrastively collected Artemis 2 to mitigate these problems. Finally, we empirically showed the superior qualities of Artemis. Thank you. For more details, please check our website. And for any questions, please contact us at this email.